everyone. Thank you for the support you've given us. We hope you're all having a great weekend so far. As you know, Psych2Go's vision is to make psychology accessible for everyone, as well as occasionally covering topics around mental health. Our mission is to raise mental health awareness and reduce the stigma behind it. Do you often find yourself developing strong forms of attraction to certain people you meet? That's pretty normal. However, these forms of attractions are sometimes a one-sided affair. To complicate things further, do you find yourself unable to visualize that it remains one-sided because you adore them so much? This video is for you. Wondering if you should continue or move on? Here are six signs that it's time to give up on your crush. One, they're already in a relationship. This one is the most important sign to realize it's time to move on. Telling yourself that you'll wait for them will only bring you misery and sadness. You can't wait forever. Furthermore, your crush is clearly already focusing on someone else. There are so many wonderful people in the world. You're only hurting yourself if you still put your attention on someone who's already taken. It's also better to keep your options open. Two, you're in the friend zone. If you and your crush seem to be best friends, it's highly possible that they only see you as a good friend and nothing more than that. Despite having the joy of receiving attention from them, you need to realize that it probably will not progress past being more than friends. Although some people do escape the friend zone, the odds are not favorable. It's advisable to accept they probably only see you as a good friend and move on. That being said, you might wanna be honest about your feelings with them so that the situation is clear and there's some form of closure for you. What's the best case scenario? Well, maybe they have a crush on you too, but if they don't, you may need time away from them to sort out your emotions. But hey, you'll still be friends with them. Three, they barely know you or acknowledge you. Does your crush barely know who you are? If so, you might be in a difficult position. If you've tried getting their attention or tried having interactions with them, but they seem to be uninterested, it could be because they're just simply not into you. If your attempts at getting their attention seem to be in vain, perhaps it's time to move on. People often feel like they're a failure, but that's not always the case. It's just that your crush might not be the one for you. After all, it takes two hands to clap. Four, you find yourself obsessing. Have you been told by your friends that you might have an obsession? If that's the case, it's definitely time to move on. We as people are often blinded by love and think that some of our actions are okay. If you realize that thinking of your crush is affecting your daily lifestyle and routines, you might need to take a step back. Also, if you find yourself being told or realizing that you are portraying obsessive behavior, it is advisable that you should move on as it's mentally unhealthy. Five, you're being led on. Ever find yourself having quality conversations with your crush and feeling pure joy, but still feel confused because of their hot and cold behavior? It's difficult to see the situation in another perspective when so much attention is being received alongside the happiness. If your interactions with your crush fail to progress further into actual dates, your crush might just be leading you on without the sincere intention of actually getting to know you through dates. It's better to move on with some self-respect. Six, your crush might be using you. Has your crush ever given you attention only to realize that they just need something from you? Whether it's a small favor of borrowing your revision notes to getting their daily dose of attention from you or borrowing money from you. If they only contact you for something and you don't hear from them when you try to have an actual conversation, they might be using you. As much as you think you like them, you should probably move on because you're so much more than that. Some things in life cannot be forced. If it happens, it happens. Forcing it may bring unhappiness. Sometimes we have to let it be. It's better to learn how to move on and let go of the things in life we can't control. There's no shame in letting go. Do you find yourself having been in those positions before? Let us know in the comments below. If you find this video insightful, be sure to share it with someone who would benefit from it too. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching.